The Real Animals Hook It and Cook It, brought to you by Rumfish Grill at the Guy Harvey Outpost. I'm on St. Pete Beach. I'm in St. Pete Beach, Florida. I'm at the Rum Fish Grill. I'm with Chef Tyson. Tyson, what are we cooking today? Uh, today we're going to be cooking a rum fish bouillabaisse. Nice. For this bouillabaisse, it's basically a, typically it's a French seafood stew, if you will, but here at Rum Fish, we like to put our own little twist on it. So it's going to end up going over this Parmesan risotto, but it's a melange of seafood in a tomato saffron broth, if you will. So the seafood in it is uh, gulf shrimp, mahi, scallops, uh, cold water lobster tail and some Prince Edward Island mussel. Mm, all good. All right. So to start the bouillabaisse, base, we're going to put a little oil in the bottom of the pan. Just keep it nice and lubricated. We're going to season our fish up with a little salt and pepper. And that just goes right in. Cook it all together? Yep, everything goes in together. The, the fish is cut the same size as the scallops, just to ensure that everything cooks at the same rate and is done at the same time. And we cut the lobster tail in half, so that, that cooks at the same rate too. And you can see the shell is still on the lobster tail. That's because the, the shell of the lobster adds a little flavor to the broth as it's cooking. To okay. Kind of flavor it up. We're gonna add our shallots in there, little minced shallots. The, the fish is cooked by poaching in the bouillabaisse broth, if you will. Okay. So it's not really important to brown it. You wanna get the color, there's, there's saffron in this bouillabaisse. It's a uh, tomato saffron, little fennel, onions, garlic, and the saffron is gonna give it this bright yellow color, if you will. Okay. And that's mainly what you wanna do is just poach the fish. Just make sure the garlic's nice and Sweat, sweats out with the shallots in there. We're gonna deglaze with a little white wine. Mm, smells it's, good. Here goes the smell. Smells good, yeah. We're gonna add the mussels in now. And then we just add our bouillabaisse based broth. And then we add a nice little pinch of saffron in there. That's that, what's gonna give it that color and flavor. Add a little more salt and pepper to season the broth up because we don't put any seasoning in the broth itself so that we can monitor and flavor it ourselves as we cook it. So now we're just gonna let that poach in here until uh, you see the, the seafood will kind of get nice and firm and bright yellow, it'll soak up the color, soak up the flavors, and then we'll know we're ready to serve it over the risotto. All right, so now that the seafood's cooked all the way through, it's soaked up that broth flavor, we're just gonna add up a little more uh, flavor to it. We got some chiffonade basil we sprinkle in there, some chopped parsley. Add some color. A little mm -hmm. bright green in there. Yeah. We finish with a little butter, Monty Burrett with a little butter. So that's just basically, we're gonna melt it in there, incorporate the butter, and it's gonna add a little richness to it, as well as thicken the broth up too. Gives a little sheen, fattiness. Makes it taste good. And butter makes everything <laughs> taste better. Yes, it does. Butter's well incorporated in there. And then now to plate it, we just arrange the fish around our Parmesan risotto. Like to put mussels, just kind of split it up and make it nice and symmetrical. Smells good, doesn't it? Oh, looks amazing. Smells even better. Outstanding. And pour that on the top. Pour the broth. And 
then you can pour a little broth on the side too, just in case you want to add a little bit more. Great job, chef. Looks absolutely incredible. A little more parsley over the top. We'll color pretty it up. And we're good to go. That and that gorgeous. is the rum fish glue base. Real Animals Hook It and Cook It, brought to you by Rumfish Grill at the Guy Harvey Outpost.